Hey guys, so I am back with a review slash what fits in my bag and I'm doing it with the Saint Laurent Lou camera bag and this was something as soon as I posted this on Instagram I got so many questions about it because I feel like it was just starting to come out they were selling out really quickly wherever they were being sold now I think they're more readily available and you can also find these on the pre-loved market and the price point is so fantastic and I gave you guys my opinion and my thoughts on this bag in a video earlier this year along with my Balenciaga metallic edge. It was kind of like a reveal video plus like my thoughts on both of those bags. But today I wanted to do a more in-depth review and also share with you guys what fits in this bag and what works for me on a daily basis when I use it. And I love it so much. I think it's so convenient. It's so good. It is one of those sizes though where I'm pregnant. So going forward when I think about the bags that I'm gonna quickly grab and wear as a crossbody bag, I don't know if this is gonna be one of them, which sounds so stupid because this is such a convenient, quick little crossbody bag. I'm pretty sure my mind will change. I do sort of see myself grabbing different ones. So only time will tell with that, but I do absolutely adore this bag. And another thing is, is I don't usually wear this tassel on it. I just put it on here for the purpose of the video, just to share with you guys the tassel that it comes with. And it's just kind of annoying because it's not a fixed tassel. So it kind of flops around everywhere. And I don't really care for the look of bag charms and tassels anymore. So it's kind of nice that it actually is not fixed and you can remove it. So that's really, really good. So I'm gonna start off with the measurements of this bag and the length of it's nine inches, the height of it's 6.25 and the width is two and a half. And then the drop of the strap is 22 inches. I'm getting all this information off of Fashion File just because I feel like they have the easiest measurements to understand. So what's really nice, again, is that it has the strap that's adjustable and it has a lot of holes. And a, something like this where it's leather, if you're very, very petite, you can easily just get holes punched from a shoe repair place, which is really nice. And there's no feet on the bottom. And it has more of a structured feel versus the... Gucci Soho Disco bag if you've ever felt one, which I'm sure you guys have seen them at least once or twice in person. I do like to keep mine stuffed with the stuffing when I'm not using it just because I do like that shape. And one of the downfalls for the Gucci Disco for me was it losing its shape. I really love camera bags because of the, you know, structure, little square shape going on. And on the inside, it's just lined with a fabric. And you have a nice, decent sized back pocket here. It's not a zipper, it's just a slip pocket. And then you just have the, you know, black hole on the inside sorry if you can hear any like grinding going on in the <laughs> garage uh matt is out there working so we're just gonna have to go through it hold on maybe we should wait okay he's not stopping so let's just go on um the zipper is extremely smooth very very smooth it goes down um a little bit on the side so it's not like it stops right here and it's stopping you from opening the bag all the way it goes down a little bit on the sides which really helps with opening it up nice and wide and the hardware on the bag is this sort of antiqued gold which is really really cute i believe they also come in silver i don't know if they come in like a shiny gold i think I think all their metal on this bag is antiqued. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. And the zipper pull is just a leather tab like this. So I really love this bag. It's very roomy. It's just like the Gucci Disco where there's a million and one reviews about that bag online and I had that bag and loved it. But like I said, I really just did not like how it was losing its structure and the bag just didn't excite me anymore overall. I like how this does give it a dressier vibe because you do have the hardware on the front of the bag and I'm a sucker for chevron quilting. I think it's just so, so pretty. So let's go ahead and put the stuff in it. These are just things that I would take with me on a daily and there's still gonna be room in here after that, which I'll sort of talk about what else I could fit in here after that. So the first thing I'm gonna put in here, which is the biggest thing, is the mini pochette, and that could just fit in here super easily with a ton of room to spare. Next is this little Goyard passport wallet thing. I got this as a gift. I just honestly keep receipts and extra cards in here. I don't take it with me everywhere, but it's nice because it's like nice and thin to keep receipts organized. And then I have my Louis Vuitton key clay in the monogram print and my keys. 
which my clay is my wallet, just so you know, in case if you're new here. So you can see those three things just in there, lining up perfectly, and there's so much room on top and down on the side. Take a body splash, I can put that down on the side. Then for lip products, I usually do keep them in the mini pochette, but the ones that I use constantly, I keep in whatever slip pocket is going on in the bag. So I have just a baby lips, this is my chapstick. This is my lipstick, it's the Milani Matte Naked Lipstick. My Fenty Glow Lip Gloss, which is the, this is the best, this is what I'm wearing on my lips by itself right now. And then also too, I have a Rimmel London Full Color Lip Liner in the color Epic 045 such a good color and it's nice to wear just by itself too just in case anybody was wondering and i just put all my lip products down in the side there now for my phone i'm just gonna lay it this like long ways inside and i have a nail file from <laughs> fashion file it's such a clever little thing that they give out so that's that and the other things that i would add to this would probably be sunglasses sitting on top. I don't have any in front of me just to show as an example, but you could see there's like plenty of room on top just to sit some sunglasses in either a soft case or by itself if you don't really care about them getting scratched up. So this is what it looks like all zipped up. It's a little chubby, bulky on the side, but it doesn't bother me. That's it. it feels kind of heavy with all of this in here. It's still nice. It's not a heavy bag at all when it's empty, but yeah, that's it. It's just a very simple review, what fits inside. I really love this bag. I highly recommend it as like a beginner bag for someone because the price point is fantastic and it has the very iconic classic um, YSL symbol on it or monogram on it. Also two camera bags I feel like are timeless and aren't gonna go anywhere. There's nothing very trendy about the shape. It's just a very iconic shaped bag. So I think it's something that if you absolutely love and you wanna invest in a not so expensive designer handbag and you want something that can go from day to night, the Saint Laurent Lou is definitely the way to go. I recommend it over the Gucci Disco, I hate to say it. If you're not a fan of like gold here, or sorry, any metal or hardware, then the Gucci Disco probably is for you. Just keep in mind it will probably get slouchy. I haven't owned this so long and I don't wear it as much as I did wear the Gucci Disco, so I can't say 100% this isn't gonna get slouchy, but I just highly doubt it. It has like a very sturdy piping. It has, you know, the quilted on either side, so I just feel like it would wouldn't do that but then if you aren't a fan of tassels this is removable and the gucci disco one isn't so yeah so that's just my two cents and then just to take a closer look at the tassel it has this little thingamabob sort of hanging from the other side of the tassel mine's a little distorted because i was keeping it in the box that it came in and i just took it out again for this video so it was like wrapped up in tissue and it got like funny looking but it'll end up shaking itself out if I left it out, but I'm putting it back in the box. <laughs> anyway, so that's it, you guys. It's a really quick little review slash what fits in this bag. If you have any questions, let me know. You could also DM me on Instagram, which is a lot easier. I feel like I get to that quicker. If you have any questions about anything, my overall thoughts on this bag is I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I think the price point's fantastic. And I like that there's a lot of color options to choose from. I'm just a sucker for the Saint Laurent red with the gold. I think it's just really, really pretty. They make really pretty grays and nudes and obviously getting it in black is just super classic too. So yeah, that's it you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye!